Okay, this is John Storm here. I've been telling you often about uh, being fall and living up in the mountains. And up here, everybody's kind of got to deal with wood burning stoves. You'll find bits of uh, lumber wood stacked up like that, drying out. Some folks will uh, stack it into uh, to, uh, sheds to uh, you know to keep it dry and, and you know put load into their fireplaces and wood burning stoves stack it out to dry just so and then uh, they'll stack it into like cords of wood uh, kind of cross hatch so it dries out well and then you see some of the the lower and smaller kind of sticks kind of stacked up along the side here you see a cross hatching of logs and cover it with a tarp basically to uh, keep it from getting soaked while being rain out. However, we've discovered quite another way of uh, dealing with this. I'll just give you a little pan of our countryside here near our house. I can't see so well here. Uh, Look at the colors up on that hill. And of course, there's Home Sweet Home. Now let me show you what we just, uh, what Melanie and Tom learned on the internet. Hey, is that a surprise? Somebody learning something useful on the internet? Well, let's show you what we learned on there because we got another way of stacking this wood and drying it out. Okay, you can uh, hear Tom working up on the hill. He's cutting down or cutting up some uh, like dead timber and stuff but what you're seeing in front of me is something called a Holzhausen and let me get a little closer to it here and let you see what this baby looks like on the inside see outside it's kind of all stacked up and from time to time these little shims are put up so that to keep the wood angled inward and on the inside well you throw a bunch of the loose and odd shaped stuff and then you stack other pieces in there long ways so it acts almost like a chimney for the uh, wood to kind of, for the vapors and the water and the moisture from the wood to kind of raise up out. It's out in a sunny place in our yard uh, where, you know, where the sun will help activate it, uh, you know, kind of keep this wood drying out. I'm sorry about the shaking. Uh, and here's where we're kind of splitting the wood. We split it up into nice little chunks, so pretty much as you always do. Get my shadow out of the way. But, uh, and just basically stack it in here. Essentially what most of us do 
is we'll have propane for cooking and stuff, but and we also have heating in the house. But we generally set our thermostat down to about 40, and the propane don't come on until it drops below 40. The propane heat basically to keep the water pump or water pipes from freezing. But for warming the house to a nice livable area, just about everybody uses wood burning stoves and fireplaces. Come on. You'll notice in this area here, we do have a fireplace. Yeah, this is the uh, our, our living room area. And we're using a wood pellet stove here instead of the fireplace because it, it produces more heat more efficiently. Uh, this house was originally built in 1769. And uh, there's a fireplace right across from my room. Uh, one there. And there's another one here in our dining room. And uh, this in our kitchen is probably one of our main sources. This is about the most efficient thing. When this thing gets going, that little boiler on the top, you pour water in. And essentially as this thing gets hot, it releases steam and it keeps the house humidified. I say we'll use uh, propane for the stove and for the cooking. But for the heating, we rely mainly on wood-burning stoves. And thus you see the whole purpose in the owner for kindling and stacking some firewood. The need for our Holzhausen. And I thought I'd just share that with you. Thank you very much for tuning in. As usual, Storm 53 out.